Remember the Spongebob episode, Squid's a Visit? The one where Spongebob tries to get Squidward to visit his house? Remember how extremely dark and messed up it was? It turns out that this episode in particular had an original, much more disturbing version to it. I was walking through the old VA v video store one day when I found some Spongebob DVDs. There were some DVDs like Nautical Nonsense and Sponge Buddies, Tide and Sea, Sea Stories, Lost at Sea, etc. But there was one DVD that I caught my eye. It was a DVD named Scaredy Pants, I Was a Teenage Gary, and other spooky sea tales. Like the others, it was around $5, so I decided to buy it. Once I brought it home, I looked at the episodes on the DVD. The episodes on the disc were Scaredy Pants, I Was a Teenage Gary, Graveyard Shift, Shanghai, Nasty Patty, Ghost Host, Squid Bob Tentacle Pants, Night Light, and Sponge Henge. There were actually a few bonus episodes as well, like Blackjack, Crab Borg, Doing Time, Funny Pants, and then Squid's Visit. I watched the full set up until the bonus episodes and everything seemed normal. Then when I watched the bonus episodes, and one thing seemed out of place instantly. In some scenes and episodes like Blackjack and Crab Borg, the color looked as if it was filmed in olden times, like in the 1960s, and it would flicker a little bit. I turned on the episode Squid's Visit and the title card came up, but it looked rather... eerie. For one, instead of the normal happy tune it played in the TV version, the sound played a disturbing tune that sounded as if something was scraping along the hard ground, followed by a bang every few seconds. The title card showed the pineapple background, except that it looked really ruined. It was covered in gashes and scratch marks, and as if someone had just torn the pineapple's texture apart. Instead of the word Squid's Visit being in their usual blue and white font, they were actually black and red. The episode started off normally with Spongebob constantly asking Squidward to visit him, with Squidward saying no every single time. But instead of taking no for an answer, Spongebob steals Squidward's vacuum cleaner like in the normal episode. And when Squidward comes to Spongebob's house, he finds that Spongebob redecorated it to look exactly like Squidward's home. Every room, every detail, every mark is absolutely correct. Things go normally in the episode until Squidward decides to look for his vacuum cleaner in his art room, and this is when things get really disturbing. Once he enters the art room, the room is extremely dark, though Squidward is still capable of seeing what is around him. An eerie and wind chime-like tune begins to play as Squidward looks as the, at the portraits around him, and some of them look slightly morbid. One of the paintings showed a decrepit and feeble squid sitting over a bed and sobbing hysterically. Another one displayed a pale, thin Squidward with nothing but hollow sockets where his eyes, nose, and mouth should be. Another painting displayed the clown from the original episode, but with black holes for eyes that seemed to be crying a black ooze. Squidward sits on the center of the rug and huddles in fear. He finds a closet door and goes to open it, and instead of finding a pile of SpongeBob stuff with the vacuum cleaner under it, like in the TV version, he finds a large stairway leading into a cold, dark basement. This is when things get truly disturbing. Squidward walks down the stairway and into the basement, and what he sees is extremely eerie. He's standing inside of a room with a dimly lit ceiling light in the center, along with chains hanging from the ceiling. On the opposite side of the room is a rusty cage. He walks to it, and there is a crude-looking sentence engraved on the front. The inscription, though scratchy, says, Harry, friends forever. He looks inside the cage as it has a barred window and is horrified to find the remains of someone who is trapped inside the cage with the interior filled with twisted and distorted drawings and writings on the walls. Squidward is even more horrified when he sees that the name under Harry is his own. Squidward tries to escape as fast as he could, but all the doors are locked. Just as he tries to escape the back door, Spongebob appears right behind him, startling him. Spongebob looks psychotic, twitching and trembling as he walked. He had a large, unnerving smile on his face, and he's holding a bloody butcher knife. Squidward, please, let me, let me out of here. Spongebob, well I can't do that, Squidward. If I let you go, you'll tell every, everything to the police, and nobody wants that, and you can't escape me. I barred every door, every window, every secret passage, so that you have no chance of getting out. But now that you're stuck here, and once I've finished with you, 
and we shall be together forever. Squidward tries to break the door down, but it wouldn't budge, and Spongebob begins to cackle maniacally as he slowly approaches Squidward, who is now huddling in fear. The camera pans away from Spongebob, but the shadows depicting Spongebob raising the knife in the air can be seen. Spongebob then pierces the knife into Squidward, causing a large, graphic amount of blood to splatter on the wall, before suddenly cutting to black, but not without a horrible scream from the poor cephalopod. Then the episode ends. I felt extremely uneasy by the time the episode was over, and I was determined to find out its origins. After contemplating what I'd saw, I went back to the video store with the DVD to find out where the DVD originally came from. I asked the store clerk about the DVD, and he reluctantly, but willingly, let me into the back room. And this is where I learned the secret of how the episode came to be. The man originally worked with the writers of SpongeBob SquarePants as one of the creators of certain DVDs. He even composed the DVD Scaredy Pants, I Was a Teenage Gary, and other spooky sea tales. And he told me that the version of Squid's Visit that I saw was its original and unaired version that was created way before it aired in Season 6. In the late Season 5, after Black and Sponge and Mermaid, Mad Ver Mermaid Man vs. Spongebob aired in 2007, the writers wanted to make a Halloween special for the upcoming month of October. They wanted to do something a bit different this time around. They decided to make a full 30 minute Halloween special, along with four rather morbid episodes to follow it. But for some reason, these episodes were delayed, even though they were fully written, recorded, and animated. The 30 minute episode was one where Spongebob and Patrick supposedly find a haunted house, or ship in this case, and meet what is originally the Flying Dutchman's first mate. The 30 minute Halloween special was delayed, but it later aired in season 8 as Ghost as Ghoul Fools, and the other four other morbid tales were released later as regular episodes. The four episodes were Planet of the Jellyfish, Season 8, Are You Happy Now, Season 8, One Course Meal, Season 7, and Squid's Visit, Season 6. The three episodes stayed the same while they aired, but the same can't be said for Squid's Visit. It turns out that Squid's Visit was intended to be much darker than it is today, but since Spongebob was targeting a younger audience, the episode had to be changed to be less disturbing or be cancelled entirely. So the writers lower the eerie tone of the episode and remove the scene where Spongebob stabs Squidward with a knife, changing the paintings to look less scary, and changing the scene where Squidward finds a rusty cage to the scene where he finds a pile of Spongebob's stuff with the vacuum cleaner under it. But even though the darker version never aired on TV, there are DVDs like this one I bought that includes this special episode, though it's extremely rare. If you do come across a DVD like this one I bought, and if you're willing to watch an unaired version of Squid's Visit, just remember, after you watch the DVD, the episode could haunt you for the rest of your life. And if you do have someone that holds an unnerving obsession over you, just be wary. You could end up like Squidward, trapped inside a dark, cold, and isolated room, never to see the light of day again, eventually being driven into a dark depths of insanity where you can never, ever escape.